the respiratory system. This video is a very quick summary of some of those particular details, we'll call them fast facts, that should act as stimuli to help you revise this topic, all part of rapid revision for the Leaving Cert Biology course. Where are the lungs located? Well, before we answer that question, yes, the lungs and those tubules are the main features of the respiratory system, but don't forget that the respiratory system begins with the nose and the mouth also. So the lungs in particular are located in the chest cavity or your thorax, sometimes referred to as the thoracic cavity. Give the name and function of the membranes covering the lungs. Well, the membranes covering the lungs are known as the pleural membranes, and there are two of them, and in between each of those membranes there is a liquid secreted, and this allows for the friction-free movement of the lungs, so it protects the lungs. These membranes protect. What gas controls breathing? It's carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is an acidic gas and it lowers the pH of the blood. This is detected by chemoreceptors and acted upon, so it's carbon dioxide. What part of the brain controls breathing? Well, it's the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata is responsible for sending those electrical impulses to the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. Where do you find cilia? Cilia are these hair-like projections and they are found on cells that line all of the airways, so the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles and they are responsible for wafting material upwards. So all of the tubes that make up the respiratory system, the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles, are all lined with these ciliated cells and also mucus producing cells. Why is inhalation an active process? It's active because it involves muscle contraction. The intercostal muscles, so the intercostals and the diaphragm will contract. And when these muscles contract, it makes the thoracic cavity increase in volume and the pressure reduces. So a decrease in pressure in the lungs also. And remember, you must mention volume and pressure in your answers related to inhalation and exhalation. Really important. So exhalation is a passive process. Why is this? Because there is no muscle contraction. All of those muscles are now relaxing. The intercostal muscles relax. The diaphragm relaxes and it goes back to being that dome shape. Really important. So thoracic volume will decrease and the pressure will increase and the elastic recoil of the lungs helps them deflate. Imagine stretching an elastic band and letting it go. Make sure you can discuss a disorder of breathing and asthma is a disorder of breathing and it's when these small tubes, the bronchioles, constrict and narrow and makes breathing difficult. And it's generally in response to some allergy. You're allergic to something, either dust mites or pets, pet hair, pet dander, or it could be even just pollution. So what can you do about asthma? Well, you can avoid the allergen if you know what it is. So damp dust or don't have pets, but ultimately you mostly still have to have treatment and this involves a medication. It's a medicine that makes the bronchioles die a type of drug known as a bronchodilator and it's usually given with an inhaler and that gives an immediate effective response. You may be asked to discuss the alveoli. The alveoli are these tiny little air sacs found at the end of the bronchioles so you can see them labelled there. They are the site for gas exchange and because there are so many of them this really increases the surface area for gas exchange. They're very thin walled which means rapid diffusion and they are covered in blood capillaries also facilitating rapid diffusion. Remember it's not good enough just to list the adaptation. You have to state why it is an adaptation, what benefit it gives. So always ask yourself so what? So for example you could say it's thin walled, one cell thick. This facilitates rapid diffusion. Be explicit. So they were a few fast facts. Always remember to revise the topic in full. Diagrams are particularly important. Make sure you can add in very good clear labels. Always use your textbook, ask your teacher and practice using exam papers. Best of luck.